Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Chasm. Uh, we are in this new part of the mines, newly opened up uh, through the power of the slide. And we have all kinds of new enemies here, including this guy who's very energetic and managed to hit me in the most stupid way fashion. Uh, stupid way fashion? Stupid fashion possible. Stupid whatever. Okay, alright. Uh, to the left there is a uh, shaft that we can't climb up. This thing dies in one shot. This one does not. Oh, okay. Actually, it only took three hits. I could have sworn it took more, but I'm glad it's not the case. Let's see if we actually have a safe point right here. Uh, well, there's not one down there. I'm tempted to actually return and check out some of those rooms there. Um, specifically for those two treasures that are on the map. One of them, I th I'm reasonably sure that maybe the one in the middle there uh, is the third cache that I'm supposed to find. Also, apparently we have not been able to fully explore that one room there. Mm, I would like to get that out of the way. Oh, also there is one one more room where we apparently couldn't move on before. I think that may, might be the dark room that we came across. Uh, I don't know. I guess, I, for now, I'm just going to move on forward here. Chances are we'll find something that'll help us... Uh, oh, nice level up. That hasn't happened in a while. Um, maybe we'll find something here that'll actually help us. What, what was I even trying to do there? Okay, I tried dodging, but yeah, you're... I don't know, this backwards dodge is just not useful enough, because every attack animation... I'm, I'm mashing dash uh, real hard here. But, you know, it will not actually happen until the attack animation is fully done. Mm. <sighs> We're at a little bit of a stalemate here. Yeah, I'll just tank one hit. Whatever. There's gotta be a save point somewhere nearby. Oh, we've got more of these... Of these stumpers? Smashers? Well, speak of the devil. Lantern. A tool used to illuminate in dark places. Indeed. Nothing here? Maybe if we jump from up here? No. That would have actually been a really nice secret if there was a ledge you could just barely grab by jumping off from that pedestal. Well, um, that is another artifact. Yes. I guess that's just going to work automatically. Probably. Man, good thing I didn't turn around, right? That would have been really silly. Also hilarious. Okay. Uh, this, these guys are royal gloop. <laughs> Those are obnoxious. Man, I really like the boomerang. I also really like getting my, my ass kicked by these enemies. Oh, I had my chance there. I watched it. Are these actually... Yeah, these, these just persist forever. Well, that kind of works. Ah, so bad. bat. What's so... I'm not sure what makes it so hard for me to hit those. But it's certainly something. Alright, down here we had... Okay. Just some treasure. Right, and we'll have to go all the way back through these. Oh, wow, I should not have just <laughs> trusted in the conveyor belt there. But it worked out. Okay, this is the slightly more interesting one. I guess I'll follow it like this, yeah. This should be the last of them. Indeed. All right. Give me those five coins. Back to one-shotting enemies. Oh, except 
Cobalt, because Cobalts are obnoxious, but they only deal two damage, so... That's fine. Not so bad. If one of them... Well, apparently I'm still just as terrible at fighting them. Uh, if one of them would like to give me their drop, though, that would be appreciated. Like you, perhaps? Ah. Ah, really? Wow. Well, he clearly had the advantage there. Come on. Um. Yep. Oh, okay, almost jumped into that rock for no reason. There's no safe point anywhere near. <laughs> hmm. Oh, this is not the dark room. Okay, so we have some amount of light here. I wonder if we just couldn't have activated the switch at all in the darkness. Oh. Next upgrade? Bird hat. What? Really? Um. Huh. A stylish hat featuring an orange feather, level 1. What? Increases con by 1. Hmm. Apparently provides the same amount of uh, defense, yeah. That was 1. Okay. Oh, what? That's not a hat at all. It's actually a bird. How cute. Are you going to help me? Or are you just cute? Sorry for trying to hit you there. I mean, just to to make that clear, I'm uh, totally okay with you just being cute. But if you attack enemies, that's uh, that would be amazing. Hmm. Did not seem too inclined to attack that troll there, but... Oh, wait. Was he actually... Hmm, can't tell. Are you going to attack the kobold? <gasps> he is! Not for a ton of damage and not very quickly, but he is. Okay, so those drop iron ingots as well. Good to know. Oh, right. Yeah, well, I, I meant to go here, even though I knew this was a dead end, just to check, double check, uh, any walls. Oh, nice. Good teamwork. Oh, not so good teamwork there, but that's fine. Okay, so that was all there was there. Huh. Right. I guess there are probably places in the catacombs where sliding will open up things for me. Possibly even um, ledge grabbing. Right, go through here. fell there. That would have been sad. Nice. Hmm. I wonder, maybe the bird has an in internal cooldown after attacking an enemy. I would go to the surface, but there's actually a save point right there. Right at the bottom of the shaft, so... Yes. We did find the secret room on the left side, so I'm holding right here. Just in case, yeah. Didn't think so. Okay. can't go up here. Oh, that's why. That's unexplored. Kill it. Kill it. Come on. Will he not attack the same enemy more than once? Oh, he will. Okay. It just takes a long time for him to uh, muster the courage for another attack, I guess. So... How did this work again? 
I think we went over, uh, went up the middle shaft here. Okay, the switch, open up the, the door to the right there. Here, something. Oh no, never mind. We were here. Oh, okay. We can dig through here, and that might be the final cache. I mean, it should be, I guess. Oops. Well, that, I guess that works. No, strength potion recipe. Ah, so there are more things to shovel up. That's good to know. Um, any secrets, perhaps? No. Guess not. Uh, Alright, yes. that's one thing solved. Solved? Solved? And we cannot just drop down here, unfortunately, to explore that last bit. Although, hmm, maybe you can shovel in places that don't look like you can shovel them? This looks somewhat like. I guess not. Yeah, it's pretty much solid rock. Right, so we'll have to go up at uh, go up this leftmost place here using double jump, wall climb, something like that. Right. Still have to do this. Oh, just having double jump, assuming that's the thing we'll get, will make things so much, so much easier, so much more pleasant to just move around. All right, these guys. Haven't seen those in a while. Or these, actually. Ice blue. Hey, nice. Okay. <clears throat> Didn't mean to slide there. Ouch. Ouch. Uh. Nope. Bad idea. <clears throat> okay. Good thing ice gloops are <sighs> slow enough that I can just hit them twice before they attack. Cobalt's not so much. Where am I even trying to go? Okay, so there is... Uh, hmm, nothing... No further items are indicated in the other rooms. Okay, so yeah, this must be... I mean, it... Not must be, but... It's probably the final... Uh, money cache that I'm looking for. Yep, there it is. Secret stash, rather. Cool. So, the next opportunity I should probably return to uh, Duncan and hand him his money. Oh, speaking of money. Oh, so close. I'll check for secret rooms here. Okay. Oh. No secret rooms. Sorry for wasting everyone's time. God damn it. Thankfully, these platforms are always perfectly aligned. Two. Okay. Finally, I'll... Oh, nice. Hey, what? The bird leveled up. What? He's level two. This is amazing. Oh, please tell me that's going to make him attack faster. Definitely, it's going to make him deal more damage. I have little doubt about that. Will you actually seek out enemies? Okay, eight damage. I didn't really time the attack interval before, but... It did take quite some 
It's quite some time. Mm, not, not sure. Could I actually sped up? It might not have. Oh, yeah. Not sure what I thought was gonna happen there. God damn it. That. There. Okay. <laughs> At this point, I'm basically giving up. Nice, he levels up again? Maybe I have. Oh, he needs to actually get the kills. Uh... I mean, that makes perfect sense, in a way. I guess that also means that. I don't get any experience for things he kills? Maybe. I'm not sure. I guess I could easily enough um, confirm that one way or the other. All I need is to find an enemy that I can almost kill in one shot for him to finish off. Okay, when he goes not back, that's nice. Pretty sure I've checked here before. I don't really think that these transition areas are ever going to hold a secret, but who knows. So what am I looking for? Hmm. I guess technically there shouldn't be anything left to find here. I definitely went up here. Yeah, that's actually the... Whoops. Um, that's the warp room. Yeah, well, I mean, I wanted to return to town anyway. So that's perfect. Assuming I can actually make this jump, which is really easy to make. I haven't found a single wall secret in the catacombs area, I think. Not that I can remember, anyway. Uh, actually, I should probably warp to the correct warp zone first. Right. Uh, Duncan is over here. Hey there, buddy. Thank you for retrieving my money. I think it's time I found a hiding place that's closer to home. Yeah. As promised, here's your cut. And you can also keep my shovel for your troubles. Oh, thank you. That's gonna be convenient. 500 gold, not bad. Um, most people don't appreciate the beauty of minerals. Would you like to have a look at my collection? I mean, actually most people appreciate the beauty of minerals. Uh, well, of certain minerals, that is. Speaking of which, uh, as far as I can tell, there is no actual use for these. And before I end up regretting selling all of these, but... Oh, what? There we go. It's also not like they are worth uh, a ton. Iron ingots are... I suppose not all that... Not all that... Uh, expensive. That's the word. Hmm. But of course, well, I could buy everything up to platinum. Although, I mean, of course, platinum is incredibly expensive. Considering that I need, like, five or six, at least, to craft anything. Hmm. I do have enough money for that helmet. Chances are I'm going to find one that's just as good, if not better. But, you know... Brass Helm. This is just... I mean, it's, it's a nice upgrade. Con goes down, but that does not actually reduce my defense. Oh, wait. Never mind. Of course, I cannot r get rid of my bird helmet. What am I even thinking? Bronze armor, though. Uh, I mean, that's only 500 for two extra points of defense. It's probably worth it, the way I play. So, uh, yeah. Sell this and I guess nothing else. The goggles, I mean, they increase int. I 
suppose I could technically keep them around if I want to max out my magical damage for a specific situation. I suppose. There's also some gambling I could do in here. Eh, you know, while I'm here. Might as well. Okay, uh, should I try to go for the skulls, maybe? I mean, that seems like a bad idea, honestly. Uh, well, or it's seven, I guess. Ah, no. Okay, messed it up. Whatever. Uh, nothing? Oh. I guess you have to get three of the same. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I really was lucky the first time around, or maybe it does get faster every time. It seemed faster, but maybe that was just me being bad. Quite possible. Right. Um, well, I guess we'll just keep moving along the same way as before. And I guess I'll make... Uh, Make it cut, or rather, yeah, well, I'm gonna pause recording and resume as soon as I come across something interesting. See you in a second. Okay, I didn't catch that in time. There actually was a secret here with um, an MP, uh, HP vial, actually. HP plus 3. I, I guess I checked uh, the same kind of um, wall in a different room, but not this one. I just... I could have sworn I checked this one, but I made the jump anyway, and, well... Turns out there was something after all. Also, I guess I might as well keep going because we should be getting close to something more interesting here, I guess. Uh, I did confirm in the meantime that the bird does indeed take the experience for himself, so you don't get anything for things he kills, which I can see becoming, you know, a little bit of a problem uh, if he ha just happens to land the killing blow on the boss. I mean, it seems unlikely because he's still not dealing that much damage. Um, but he is up to level six, I think. We'll eventually see if, if there's any um, max level for him. Yeah, he's level 6, so he should deal about 15 damage or so? It does really not seem like he's attacking any faster than before, which, you know, is unfortunate. Fifteen, yeah, nice. Should be able to finish off the zombie in one more attack? Actually, I'm not sure. It used to be three attacks for him. Okay. Still seven now. Yeah, I can tell. Maybe... Okay, I did climb up here before. Yeah. Um... Maybe his attacks are getting ever so slightly faster? It's hard to tell, though, without actually timing it. Well, this... Hmm. Weird. This shrine also has not come back. No. Thank you for killing a fly. It's appreciated. He also does not need very... Uh, very many kills to level up. So it's, it's really only been two or maybe three enemy, uh, yeah, two or three kills for the bird for him to level up. Oh. We just, yeah, I guess we, we couldn't slide before, so there's one thing. Book of Incantations, hey, nice. That's what the lady wanted. Oops. In order to upgrade magic. I mean, I do like the boomerang. It doesn't have the range I was expecting, but it certainly delivers on damage. I can certainly see that being quite the boss killer, in fact. So... I wouldn't mind upgrading that. Even before that actually needs jewels that I just sold all of. If so, well, can we please do this? Can you not reach that guy from below? I guess not. Pretty sure I checked these walls before. I wonder if this hive thing actually does count as an enemy. 
If so, I'm pretty sure I still haven't unlocked it. I mean, logically it should be right next to... Oh, wait. Didn't there used to be a, a gap here? Hmm. I thought. Maybe not, though. Spear Cobalt, right. When to go. Hmm. Something there. Something missing there, rather. So maybe this is... This is it. I could test it, I guess. Kill five more. Four more. Okay. Yep. That's what it is. I guess I could do that just now. While I'm here. Okay. Wasn't completely sure if I had checked that wall. Of course I did, though. Um. Well. I guess I'll go around the long way. Ouch. Ugh. I mean, they're only dealing... <sighs> they're only dealing two damage. Which is kind of wild. Feels like it's not been that long since, you know, they actually used to be a little bit of a danger. Where was I even trying to go? I guess... Wait, this wasn't the right way. Did I just... Oh, yeah. Completely forgot that that ledge existed, I guess. Or wait, did I? No, I guess I. I'm not that dumb. I did actually land down there. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. So one more should do it, right? I actually lost count. Okay, my pod. Not sure what I'm trying to learn here. Even 20 experience. It has a chance to drop something. Needless to say, I've never seen it drop anything. Right, here we have to hold on. Actually, I, I could have probably made that jump, but... You know. Uh, right, we might be able to make it further up. No, actually, we, we won't be able to make it further up. Hmm. So probably, I mean that might be a slidey room there to the to the right above the long shaft with the puzzle. Yeah, certainly no way to climb up there without help. Come on, finish off the cobra. There we go, nice. <sighs> Whatever, just tank them at this point. Why even bother dodging? I think we might still not have unlocked these guys either. I certainly don't remember doing so. Another shrine that's not active. It's so weird. And... Wait. Oh, this is another one of these areas. Huh. Well. Nice. Ruby. Oh. Got a white here. I'm not sure if the bird got the kill there. Hard to tell. Okay, nothing down there. Ah, he can totally hit me. Why did I think he wouldn't... Ugh. This is actually really bad. Okay, I guess I can do that. That worked. Okay, another token. Hmm. This is probably another relatively small area. Okay, three. It's Necromancer. Hmm. Uh, it seems to indicate that they are capable of raising the dead. Of course, I've never seen them do anything like that. 
There he is. Also, two possible drops. Hmm. I mean, I'll have to... If my theory is correct, and this is just another one of these self-contained uh, bonus loot areas. And the fact that it was, you know, hidden behind an illusionary wall. Spike dagger, it was sweet. Um, then I'll have to make my way back to the entrance anyway, so... I'll check out that... Uh, that door there. Uh, 28 damage. Triangular bladed knife that resembles a spike. Okay. Oh wow, this is so fast though. If you can get right up next to a boss, or any big enemy, that would be super, super good DPS. Uh, sacrificial pendant, a strange pendant that regenerates the wearer's magical energy. Ooh, but reduces all stats significantly. Or actually, it might only um, reduce them relative to what I'm currently using. Yeah, okay. So it does seem to lower everything by two? Yeah. Seems to be it. Interesting, though. wonder if that's actually worth using for a purely magical build. Ouch. Okay. Oh. Oh. I guess if you... So long as you don't mind taking damage from running into enemies. Ugh being right up next to them, then this dagger is actually a, a decent choice for a weapon. Oh. Ugh. I mean, please. And we have another treasure, another HP up. Awesome. Okay, um, I guess with that we're gonna head back to the normal catacombs. And I'm gonna make another cut here, again in the middle of nowhere. I guess I could backtrack to the save point if I really wanted to stop here. Or maybe I'm just going to continue playing because, you know, this game is fun. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Uh, either way, I'm gonna make a cut here. As always, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.